Hey folks, how's it going? This is Jesse from the Fly Fishing Outpost and Land of Enchantment Guides. Just wanted to give you guys a quick fishing report and update on the current conditions and what we're looking forward to coming into the fall. So we'll just start with the Pecos River. So the Pecos River is currently at 80 CFS and it's been fishing really great. We've received a lot of rain this summer. The flows are great for this time of year. Dry dropper fishing has been excellent and some nymph fishing in the deeper pools. If you're going to be heading up there, I'd still be throwing some stimulators, some chubby Chernobyls, uh, some elk hair caddis. If you see, you know, pods of rising fish, maybe try a little parachute atoms. As for the droppers underneath those bigger flies on the dry dropper setup, still be going probably in the 14 through 18 range something with a bead on it that's going to get down, some sort of mayfly emerger, uh, you know, pheasant tails, hair, hare's ears, copper johns, and, you know, some sort of paradigan maybe. Um, but yeah, the Pecos has been fishing great. We're anticipating some good fishing in the fall as well. Now we'll move on to the Rio Grande. The Rio Grande is shaping up. We've been catching some fish. Water temperatures still get a little bit warm in the afternoon. So it seems to be better bass fishing in the afternoon and great trout fishing in the mornings. A little bit of dry dropper stuff, but mainly we're going uh, deep with some double nymph rigs. And I think as it moves into the fall, we should have a really epic fall on the Rio Grande. So I'm really excited and anticipating the last two weeks of September into October. And typically it'll hold and fish well into the first two weeks of November. Uh, that time of year, we start to get some betas hatches in the afternoon. So definitely start to kind of look for some rising fish in certain areas. Uh, usually what I'm going to throw there is going to be some parachute atoms, some comparatons, and just your small mayfly imitations. When we're nymph fishing, you know, you can still kind of get away with some leeches and woolly boogers, and then maybe drop in a hare's ear, or soft hackle pheasant tail, some sort of betas off the back of that. If we notice that they're really just starting to key in on the small flies, uh, when you're nymph fishing, I would put kind of a 14 or a 16 nymph up top and then drop an 18 or 20 little betas fly off the back of that. And again, the Rio Grande is a really beautiful, great place to fish in the fall. So really excited and looking forward to that. Now we'll move up north a little bit more and talk about the Chama River. So we'll start with the Chama River below Elvado Dam or Coopers. Uh, it's been fishing pretty good right now. The weekday flows seem to be steady at about 100. They bump it back up on the weekends for the rafters. But if you're able to catch it during the weekday, that uh, 100 CFS is a, is a great flow. You can cross the river, move around. And again, that's double nymph fishing. So we're throwing leeches, uh, maybe some kind of hot-headed uh, smaller flies, some blowtorch, different flies. And as it moves into the fall, those browns will start running as it gets into October. And you always have the possibility of a really nice, beautiful fish. So Coops has been holding steady, great place to catch some numbers in and around Coopers. And if you wanna go for a walk, then going all the way down is, is, is a great bet, just walking as far as you want down river. Now the upper trauma um, has been fishing pretty good. You know, I've been doing a lot of dry dropper type fishing up there, maybe some double nymph in the deeper areas. And, you know, it's still holding and fishing pretty good. So now we'll move on to the San Juan. The San Juan's flow is at about 600 CFS right now and has gotten to a stable flow pattern. The fishing has become a little bit more consistent. Again, the fall up there is a great time to be on the river, usually a busy time of year, but fishes really well in the fall. Those bays are still start hatching and you can get some really good dry fly potential usually in the afternoon. In the morning, I would start with probably, you know, maybe red if you're fishing deep, um, but throw in some kind of larva, some pupa imitations in gray and olive. Uh, sometimes those, those foam wing mergers are a really hot pattern this time of year. So in your grays, and chocolate, those foam, wing, foam wings work really well. And then as it moves into the afternoon, I would anticipate more of that betas hatch, especially on the overcast days, and just throw in your favorite betas patterns. Uh, if you're seeing rising fish, throw in small 22s and 24 parachute atoms or comparatons. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the private properties that are still fishing pretty good and also looking forward to fall on some of those properties. So Cow Creek Ranch, we've had a 
We've had a phenomenal year on Cow Creek. It's going to continue to fish well into the fall. Dry dropper fishing, lots of fish in a really beautiful place. Uh, Barracks Bar Ranch is another ranch that we fish on. That has been fishing really well with all the rain. The ponds are high. Dry dropper fishing is still really phenomenal and fishing really well up there. And then Canyonis Creek Ranch up in Chama has been fishing really well also. I've been doing a lot of dry dropper stuff there and then some double nymph rigs a little bit deeper. And we've been running a few trips up on the Navajo in Southern Colorado on our two leases up there. And those have also been fishing really well. Uh, again, dry dropper on both of those. So just wanted to give you guys a quick updated fishing report for September and then just really excited about moving into the fall. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to give us a call here at the Fly Fishing Outpost and Land of Enchantment Guides, and we'd love to answer any questions and help you guys out. All right, take care and have some good fall fishing.